Waffen. Waffen ist Geld hier. Ooh. Okay. Das ist pretty neat. Oh, jeez. Lava worms. Oh, they are powerful. Cool. Oh, it's still your turn, shit. Okay. Okay, well, no. Just skip your turn. Alright. Ooh, that was sick. I insta killed that worm with a smite. Sweet. And me slows you. Oh, shit, I didn't notice that guy. Okay. Well, there's a guy there. I wanted to go back here. God damn it. That's annoying. Mm. Okay. Let's have her move up to there. Let's spray everything down there. Should have a few of them. Or all of them. Sweet, even better. <laughs> okay, save. Anything good in here? There is. I mean, the value of those things is starting to go down as I get more and more powerful and get more and more items of greater worth. But it's still like some extra change, so. Door's locked, you don't have the key, and the lock is too complicated to be picked. Huh. Where the fuck would I get the key? There is no key in here, is there? Oh, there's a secret button. Okay. Okay, cruise longbow. Almost missed that. Lava fired spear. Hmm. Okay. Nobody's gonna use that. Up's the critical chance though, which is pretty cool. Can I can't even unlock it from here. Indeed, very interesting. Okay, I think this dungeon's done. Actually no, there's there's like a little area right there that we can go to. I lied. It's not done. It's only just begun. to a secret button. Oh, this is what that guy was talking about. He was, was going like, to take that passage and swim. It's safe for you to escape. He leaves out a secret passage to the west. Before he leaves, he says, Thank you again for your help. I will spread word of your brave deeds here. Alright, my reputation has improved. and earned some experience. Nice. Alright. Yeah, this dungeon is probably done Alright, that wasn't too hard. Okay, so here's Amrin. I killed the Ogre Mage, just like you asked me. Well done! The apprentices in the future who don't get devoured will have much to thank you for. Good for you. Good luck to you in your future travels. Oh wait, I did promise to teach you a magical spell, I suppose. I'd better follow through. He mutters a brief spell. The book in the corner will be of interest to you. Okay, sweet. So a book in the corner. Oh. Knowledge of the spell protection. Mm. I've earned some experience and I've got an achievement. Cleric and a medal. Cool. Cleric now. Oh yeah, it's uh, his spells. Let's see what it does. Regenerating for two turns. It's mm. a 50% chance of happening. Okay, that's nice. Awesome. Alright, let's explore a bit. The sign says Great Cave 40 miles west and Tower Magi 10 miles east. Alright. Cool. You are at the true you are at the entrance to a huge cavern. Behold a truly amazing sight. Beautiful and terrifying at the same time. 
The cave floor slopes down towards the center, so you have an excellent view despite the mist. In the center of the cave, you see a large lake fed by, an, by a natural spring. Its runoff flows to the south, where it pours into a huge lake of magma. Then the water, with an eardrum searing hissing noise, boils away. The result is that the cavern is not only noisy, but filled with a thick, choking white mist. The humidity has enabled a wide variety of fungus to grow. You can already feel the mildew forming under your armor. It's not the most comfortable place to be, but it's a wondrous sight. Oh yeah. I like wondrous sights. Those fucking ogres are just following me. Go away. Whoa, look at that. That is very wondrous. It goes from water to lava. Okay, you guys want to go? Seriously, you want to go? Check out this area. We are in southeastern Vernum. Nice. Ooh, there's a cave. Oh, shit. Shattered Fort. But this area is important for a quest. Probably don't want to be here. Not yet. What's up with this corner? Ooh, it goes somewhere. Oh, shit. There's, like, lava dogs. Let's back off a bit and save. Oh, shit. There's a drake in them. Fire lizards. What? It missed. What the fuck, dude? Seriously, what the fuck? Alright, this might hurt these fire dudes quite a lot. Oh, yeah. Just some serious fucking knockback. That's for damn sure. Okay. Okay, okay, you can chill now. You can chill. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. What was that for? Okay, you're gonna heal all. Wait, we're gonna have her go, like, away. What? God damn it. A rat. I don't know what a dragon is for. Perfect. Okay, I wonder. Okay, heal all once more. Yes, now we all feel very much better. down here. Nothing down there. Right here. Oh shit, okay, more guys. Well. Very interesting indeed. Okay, we'll have you do some serious priestly magic. And demolish those assholes that line. Oh, dude, that is so nice. Just having the power to do that, just having the power just to control the lives of, of beings is more power than I deserve. A lot more power. Anyone could ever imagine. And I control it, which is the crazy part. I control these lives at this moment. I do. Not anyone else. I control the lives of these beings. And it feels great. If I want to kill them, I can. I can kill them. I want to suck their dick. I can do that too. Yeah. 
but I'm just gonna kill them because that's all I can do in this game. <laughs> it's not like you can't suck their dick, which is unfortunate, but whatever's. At the end of the passage, you find a gigantic nest of piled stones created by the fire lizards over many years. The nest is made up mainly of all sorts of trash, most of which has corroded in the sulfurous air. One thing catches your attention, though. A large helmet on the ground near its base. It still has the skull inside it, but you can dump that out easily enough. Take it. Got a steel helmet. I'm assuming it's not... Oh, shit. Dude, it looks cool, actually. But, uh, that's probably just gonna be sold. Actually, what we'll given to you? Minus 5%. Hmm, okay, that is actually better. I have to wear it, so let's do that. Actually, I could probably give her a... We don't even have any magical helmets, do we? Well, shit. That's very interesting. But she's full in inventory. As long as it doesn't lower the uh, inventory numbers, we should be good. Hopefully she can still cast spells. Here's hoping. Alright, cool. Let's get the hell out of here. I should actually probably go to town and sell my goodies. Oh. Alright, let's level up our characters. Strength. Mm. Okay, let's do... Hmm. I want to do another lethal blow. Hmm. So it's at 9% chance. We can up it to 12. Rest in peace, see your name here. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's just do, uh, I guess move up there. Sweet. What we got here? Anything below negotiator? Nope. So we can do... Great Wisdom. Up it by another 4%. Where you can wear. This is your rate of shedding fatigue. This character will anger and draw attacks from all nearby foes. Five percent the amount of health and spell energy. Darn. Okay. Um. I guess great wisdom shit. Might as well. <laughs> I don't even know. That's a tough decision, really. Do another point there. And... I guess another point there, and... And Sniper. And let's see, we'll probably also have her do Great, great Wisdom. Okay, put that intelligence up to level 20. Sweet! Put another point in cave lore, and another point in, uh, probably resistance. Let's just do that. Great wisdom. Okay. If you pretty much do the same thing. Point... Uh, there, and there. Okay. So we actually don't even have her on the quick learning thing yet, but now we do. Cool. Okay. Let's, uh, head this way now. What does the sign say? The sign says, Mars East, Honeycomb West. Danger. Ooh, danger. Huh? I like the sound of that. Let's do the honeycomb. Ooh, the ground is starting to look a little deserty. I like the desert. Okay, there's a tunnel here. 
I wonder why it's called the honeycomb. Probably because it's like a, like a little like maze of tunnels, I guess. It's kind of looking like that. I've never been inside a honeycomb, so I don't know what it looks like. I just know there's a lot of like hexagons on it. I think they're hexagons. Maybe they're pentagons or something. A fountain burbles out of the crack in the ground here. The water is sparkling and bright, almost gem like with them like. When you stare at it, the thirstier you feel. Water is refreshing and wonderful. You drink your fill. Then as you leave, you start to feel more alert. Your thoughts are clearer. What's an invigorating drink that was? You've earned some experience. Okay, sweet. Let's uh, save. Awesome. Okay, let's go this way. Random house over here. You found a small hut with edible mushrooms growing around it. A thin trail of smoke... Oh, wait, where was I? Rises from the chimney. Most likely a hermit lives here. Many people are sent into a verdant for being hostile and antisocial, and they continue to avoid the company of others once they arrive in the world. There's a lone man living here, made tough and tactical attack a turn by the hardship of living out here. His skin is heavily wrinkled and pure pale white. He gives you mushroom soup and lichen tea and asks of goings on outside the honeycomb. He seems unsurprised by your tales of violence and carnage. Eventually you you get up to leave. As you do, he offers to sell you a brood she found the with with of gold. Okay. You pay the hermits and find that it's not so much a brooch as a necklace. It's made of tarnished copper. It's not impressive. Disappointed, you leave. What is it? Some sort of magical necklace. Oh, yeah, it does kind of suck. Oh, no, wait, plus 3% chance to riposte. Nah. Might as well sell that, I suppose. That isn't that good. Not really. Uh. What the hell, guys? I was about to say. Oh, it's because there's enemies in the way. Shadow's like, why can't I move up there? Something strange about the cave wall to the north. Something that doesn't look quite right. Inspect it more closely, but you don't find anything of interest. If only you knew more of the lore of the caves. Okay. So we need more cave lore. Still. Okay. We'll deal with that in the future, then. If only I knew more about cave lore. The long tunnel slopes sharply upward to the west. It looks like it continues for quite a long way. Some of this passage is natural. Sections of it look like they have been laboriously cleared out by hand. Hmm. The tunnel you've been following for miles slope up sharply, leading you to hope that you might have found a way to the surface at last. Just as your spirits start to rise, your escape is blocked by a cave-in. Your progress is stopped by countless tons of rocks shaken loose by awesome magical force. One wizard melted the crown symbol of the Empire into the stone floor clearly identifying who sealed off the exit. Another possible escape route blocked. Mm. That was my chance. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm still trapped in here. Okay. Let's go this way. Looks like there's a camp up there. Let's be careful. And save. Whoa. In the distance, you can see that a group of Slith warriors have established an advanced camp here. Yet the Avernum soldiers must not have noticed them yet. It's a nasty looking group, but you might be able to handle them. Do you try to rid southeastern Avernum of this menace? Attack. Alright, so it's a bunch of Sliths. Old enemies are like to kill them. And it feels great when I do. Okay, let's just have him... I don't want to blow all these dudes away. So I'm going to save that for later. I do, however, want to do an icy rain on them. Because this will hurt. Quite a lot of those groups of dudes. Oh yeah, that was nice. 